one thing that really really sticks out almost in a in a poetic tragic way is the way this character this once dashing sort of very vain um uh, wonderful skier with a beautiful wife and the big bank account sort of is is passed off from country to country almost uh, like a a modern day pariah uh given the the change of the political winds uh in all the doctors that you talk to, I mean, what ones, what ones, what one or two of them impressed you the most about understanding what exactly was going on and having sort of a larger grasp of it or a deeper grasp of it? Well, the interesting thing is, most of the doctors said if the Shah was an average Joe walking into any major hospital in major city in any country, he would have probably been cured. Uh, you know, he was a high-profile patient. Uh, there was a lot of politics surrounding him. Uh, I thought a lot of doctors tried to help him. I thought Dr. Morton Coleman, uh, he was a very knowledgeable oncologist. He was giving him the right advice. As you saw, he ran into the operating room and said, take out the spleen. Had they taken out the spleen at that time, it would have been a completely different story. Uh, the Shah didn't listen to him much. I thought Dr. Cervantes in Mexico, he's a very qualified doctor. He's a uh, American Board of Surgery. He's, he's an honorary inductee. He's the uh, uh, American doctor that uh, operates on, on important VIPs in Mexico. He's a State Department uh, representative there. I thought he could have taken care of the, the Shah much better in Mexico. Uh, he almost comes across, he comes across through the film as being very affronted by what happened, being uh, like it was a real scorch to his dignity. He was. Uh, the Panamanians were. Uh, and you would expect that. You know, he, he's, he's a world-class surgeon, and you know, they, they don't let him do the surgery. They bring the shot to Mexico, and then they have a, a young surgeon, you know, inexperienced guy, uh, botching up a, a simple operation. Uh, and you know, th they were affronted when, when uh, the Rockefeller people took the Shah out of Mexico, saying that they don't have the facilities, they don't have the know-how. And then when the Shah was kicked out of the U.S., they wanted to take him back to Mexico. Well, they didn't take him back. That was an affront. The same with the Panamanians. Uh, you know, you have a team of highly educated people ready to do a splenectomy, and then you have another American team showing up there trying to upend them. Uh, I thought, you know, a lot of these decisions, you can blame it on the doctors, you can blame it on, you know, politics. Uh, you have to make your own decisions. You have to make your own med medical decisions. Uh, your family has to make the right medical decisions. Uh, unfortunately, there was a lot of other things at play that, that affected this. And, and the, the, a second or an, another tragic figure arises in this, and that is uh, Anwar Sadat, because he takes the Shah in, and uh, uh, not too long after that, he'll be assassinated by Islamists. The Shah will be dead. And I think if I'm, if, if I'm correct that... Um, I, I remember living when I lived in Cairo back in uh, a few years ago that there was always a problem between Cairo and, and Tehranian relations because of uh, uh, because of the the street named in Tehran after one of the assassins of Sadat, um, and it was way the the Iranians got retribution for giving the Shah refuge. I, I think that's a correct story. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Sadat was always a good friend of the Shah. The Shah was a good friend of Egypt. He had loaned them a lot of money, he had given them a lot of weapons. He was very supportive of them throughout the years. And he was leaning that way politically toward the, toward the, uh, you know, Sadat was leaning toward Russia and the, and the East too a bit. It, 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 was, it was a tumultuous time in the Middle East, mm. you know. Uh, but uh, these two were lo loyal to each other. Uh, they thought the U.S. was loyal to both of them. Um, it didn't seem so. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 